Welcome to Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week. I'm Chris Patini. I'm Patrick Wolf. The featured beer in today's festival preview is Zivyek Bach from Zivyek Brewery in Zivyek, Poland. The brewery was founded in 1856, and this beer comes in at 6.5% ABV. And it is a Polish Fest time. Once again, time once again, eh? You know, the best thing about here is every month there's got to be at least one festival. Keeps us busy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and, and what better uh, way to get ready for the start of the summer than uh, Polish Fest? May not sound like the, the most logical um, progression, but, uh, you know, I think with Omaha's uh, history, especially back in the turn of the century, we had a lot of German immigrants, we had a lot of Polish immigrants, a lot of Czech immigrants. So we all know we have Oktoberfest, and we haven't convinced the boss to do a Czech fest yet, but we do have a Polish fest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polish beer, lots of it. Oh, no, they've got you ordering beer left and right. Keeps me on my toes. Right? Yeah. Food. Uh, we've got... Pierogies. Breaded, fried pierogies as well. That's a beer corner original. Because what is it awesome than taking a pierogi and then frying it? Yeah. I, I, w I wouldn't have it any other way. Actually, once you've tried the fried ones, you don't go back to the others. <laughs> uh, glunkies. You know what those are, right? The, the cabbage roll with the beef and the, like the oh, yeah, right, them, right, right, right. And we've got the, the, the Polish sausage. What the edge? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dab Bersk. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Bobby Z and Polka Joy will be playing in the evening, Very nice. Boys in the afternoon, and the most important part, the Bevo. Hey, you get to drink that too, yeah. So uh, you picked this one out, you like this beer. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we had it in cans last year in bottles this year. And, um, so the Zivyets Bach. In your nifty Polish Fest mug you can buy for five bucks when you come. Uh, uh, uh. Stop. Stop right there. Beer trusts us, you know. It does. Uh, wow, that's a nice color. Yeah. Nice amber. Shows off the Polish Fest logo very nicely there. Hearty malty aroma there. It's just caramely and, and easy to drink, and that's why Polish Fest also has the other side of it, and that's lots of people drinking very easy to drink high alcohol beers. Lots of cars in the mutual parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, so Sunday morning. Uh, a lot of people taking Uber and Lyft yep, to get home. Yep. Uh, Wow, that's really nice. I don't remember this one from last year. Well, you know why? Because last year I had it at the Polish Fest, and I don't remember the rest of the Polish right, Fest. Right, right. Oh, it's a great beer. I liked it. You know, this year I tried it in the bottles. Yeah, that's new. I like the, the packaging, mm -hmm. uh, the bottles. We got plenty of it over in Beertopia. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a... It's cold enough because the little chalice turned blue. Oh, just like Coors Light. Yeah, it tells you when it's Better cold than as the, 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 the glass changes. Yeah, it's, it's cold as the Polish mountains. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, there's really not much else about Polish Fest except families are welcome, no cover charge. Uh, June 13th from noon until midnight. It's a great time. Oh, and the cool t-shirts that you designed. Ta -da! Patrick's our wonderful, also a uh, graphic artist besides Beertopia manager. I do what I can. Do what Jack I can. of all trades. Beer drinker, beer purveyor, beer orderer, beer stalker, logo designer. <laughs> Is there anything he can't do? Well, because I watch you slam a chug of beer before, too. You can do that as well, so... Well, we won't be doing that today. <laughs> Not with these, but uh, as they say in, in Poland, Nastrovi. What he said. Heaven, the 